welcome back to another episode of Loud Ladies. I'm Shelley. I'm joined by the lovely Yolanda and the beautiful Justine. Um, today, we're going to be talking a little bit about superstitions. You know, black cats running across in front of you and stuff like that. Do you have any opinions on these, ladies? I do, I do. New shoes on the table, absolutely not in my house. Oh, yeah, my mum has that one. Oh, no, you mustn't do that. It's I'm bad right? luck, right? I have no idea why it's bad luck, but you just don't do it. And then that, that includes slippers and boots as well, flip-flops, any kind of footwear. Well, my mum has this thing where when you take your shoes off, you can't put them on the floor facing the same way. Right. You have to turn the other one around. I've, I've heard of that So before, it stops yeah. spirits walking around in your shoes. I've, uh, heard, of <laughs> I've, I've heard of that one before. I've never heard that one before. Yeah. But no. the, the one about putting shoes on a table, even if they're new shoes, you don't do that. It's just common sense. Why would you have a shoe well, that it's, goes it's, on the ground on a table? Well, because it's, it's bad luck. It's, it's because it's bad luck. Why is it bad luck? Everybody then? knows that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why it's bad luck. What do you think about... Walking under a ladder, I can understand. Well, that's just dangerous, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I don't You know, it's, it is bad luck to walk under a ladder, especially if there's a pot of paint up there. What about two mirrors facing each other? That's weird. Why? It's a portal into the other world. Is that really what it is? Yes. Too? I've never heard that. Absolutely. Before. I've heard of the uh, seven years bad luck. Some people mirror. actually cover up the mirrors at night time because oh, yeah, the okay. spirits like to come and cross. Oh, I had a friend who did that. In, yeah. in the night, they yeah, come, yeah. you know, they come and come and go in the night without you watching them. So it's not just two mirrors facing each other. It's. Do you believe in ghosts? Yeah. You do? I've seen. Yeah. Do you believe in ghosts? Yeah. Well, I've seen one. Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever tell me your ghost story? Well, I've, I've got one lives in my house, although actually I haven't seen her for a while. Yeah. She's, it's like a grey lady. Okay. Like, you know, like a pencil drawing? Yeah. When I say grey, I mean a pencil outline. Okay. But she's got a lot of clothes on. I live in a very old house. Yeah. But she poked me like that once. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah, she did. She poked me. And, uh, oh, it was a few years now. I, I was still smoking, so it's a long, long time ago. But <laughs> I was leaning. I was cutting some fabric on, on, my, on my table at home in the kitchen. I was cutting some fabric, and I got a poke in my bottom. Like that. <laughs> just like I just, 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 like, just like that. Yeah. Just like that. And I turned around, and I saw this um, grey outline of this frock, you know, these dresses and skirts. Yeah. And it's quite long. And I just grabbed my fags and my mobile phone, legged it out of the house, Went up to the top of the garden, phoned my friend. I said, oh, I'll go back in the house. I've been poked by a ghost. <laughs> True story. And it actually happened. But I've seen her a few times. What, what happens is I go all cold. Yeah. And I go all goosebumps. I say to my husband, I'm being visited. Okay. And I literally, I just go, oh, freezing cold. I've had that cold experience. Yes. I think sometimes it's my nan. Because I'll go cold and then I'll smell white musk. Yes, I so smell I my nan's my... cigarette smoke oh, sometimes. Yeah, and I, I know think my it's my, my nan coming to visit me. Because I know what she's like and I think if she passed, she'd just wait around for me and my mum. Because she used to do that all the time. She wouldn't want to go anywhere unless me and my mum were with her. Yeah. She's a bit like that. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. and your ghost? <laughs> well, it's a weird thing. Um, I've, I've always been able to feel vibrations of things mm. um, but I was walking along the road um, past a house that I knew um, and I felt a weird presence and I felt it was coming from the upstairs so I was looking upstairs and my friend started waving at the downstairs window and going Hooey, hello and he was waving at the ghost of an old lady oh. and it was his friend's mum because his friend owned the house and it was her mum that was standing there looking out to see what was going on oh that is creepy yeah <laughs> uh, so i just saw lace curtains and behind the lace curtains was this white-haired old lady wow okay yeah well i felt stuff i mean i'm a, i'm a very are you I take, intuitive i take yeah my, my brother says i'm um well my mum says i'm an empath my brother disagrees. He says I'm a psychopath. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, but, uh, I get that. I get that. <laughs> yeah. I get feelings from people and situations. So I've walked into places before and got a feeling that I shouldn't be here. So you, you could have been one of the Pengal witches. Yeah, well, actually... You would have been burnt at the stake. Well, actually, um, <laughs> the Pendle witches, um, my nan is actually a bloodline of the Pendles. No way. She's from wow. Skipton, yeah. <gasps> so I'm, I'm, I'm quite That's up incredible. on that. That's yeah. incredible. Oh, I'm in awe of you. I want to be related. Well, you know, I burn sage <laughs> and yeah. I charge, as Beyonce says, I charge my crystals in the full moon and, and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> <I'm> witch. <laughs> Actually, I don't mind being called a witch. I think it's a positive thing nowadays. Because I think <laughs> that word was taken and twisted to mean something bad. So a hedge witch well, you are. Yeah. A good witch. 
yeah, I'd say a kitchen witch because I spend yes. a lot of time in the kitchen and like I use okay. a lot of herbs and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Like when my son's studying, I used to go around and put rosemary around him because the smell of rosemary helps with your helps with your memory. memory. Yeah, that's yeah. right. And he used to look at me like I was mental. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. But no, no, it's so a thing, isn't it? I mean, it's, it might be an old wives' tale, but it, some of these old wives' tales work. But in yeah. the day, you'd be well. called a witch. But I, I practice loads of that. We, I think we all do. That's subconsciously, we don't yeah. realise we're doing it. I'm yeah. not even Cultural. sure why rosemary helps with memory, but I've I've studied. Um herbs and things because I was um, involved with teaching on a complementary healthcare course okay. in a, um, doing the chemistry of aromatherapy right okay and so yeah which uh, it's, it's not necessarily a witchy thing but rosemary for some reason does help yeah but I think with a memory lot of, yeah but I think a lot of what people think of as witches is not what it actually no. is about and a lot of it is just using nature yeah. Um, yeah, for healing. Do you know, like, yeah, you know, like if you sting yourself, yeah. you're stinging nettles, you look for a dock leaf, yeah. and you rub yeah, the dock leaf on it. Do you know that's, what I mean? that's to do with the pH of the sting, though. That's it, because the dock leaf um, is more sort of neutralising to that sting. Yeah, that but you why get. is it that yeah. dock leaves grow next to? Stinging nettles. Stinging nettles. Well, they don't always. I've definitely been around a few patches of nettles searching for a dock leaf and not <laughs> found them. Stinging nettles can, can promote your immune system, so there might be something in that. Well, yeah, I drink uh, nettle tea, actually, because apparently good. it's quite good for you. So yeah. Do you actually? Do you really do that? I do drink nettle tea. Is it tea. not vile? Yes, it's no, not well, great. But uh, if you put a little bit of mint so in what, there, why it, it's nice. So why are you doing that? Blackberry and nettle. What, what are you getting from that? Health benefits. What? Health benefits. Health benefits. So I have high blood pressure, and nettles help with... Uh, blood pressure and it helps to boost your immune system. Okay. Um, it's like in the mornings I drink um, lemon tea. water with oh. um, apple cider vinegar with the mother oh, as okay. it helps to cleanse your system. I try to be as natural as possible. So yeah. if you found a four leaf clover, what would you do with that? I'd, I'd make that a wish. Lucky, isn't it? Yeah. So <laughs> I'd make why a would wish. you make a wish? I don't know, it's just something I used to do with my mum. Is it because you think it's lucky? Yeah. Because they're rare as hen's teeth, aren't they? Yeah, and I think we pass a lot of these superstitions on to our yeah, kids yeah. without even thinking about it, really. We do, because we're saying this stuff out loud and our children are growing up and then they're saying it out loud. They're well, yeah, with the herbs. Don't things. put your shoes on the table. <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah. my, my kids would never do that. And they will pass it on to their children. What about like the number 13? That's supposed to be. Well, that, that's to unlucky. do with Friday the 13th, isn't it? And that was, that's a historical thing. Mm. That is um, a really quite a horrible thing that happened on Friday the 13th and it oh, was Emperor, Emperor Constantine I think um, ordered the destruction of um, an entire um, following of Christianity and it was the Catholic Church that destroyed these people. So it's religion. So it's yeah but you luck. know what to be bad honest luck, in, in, um, in tattoo if, if you into tattoos and stuff, the number 30 is actually lucky. My brother has a 13. Yeah, some actually, my mum was born yeah, on Friday the 13th, and that's in why Spain he actually has lucky. it. Yeah. But it's seen as lucky. A lot of numbers are like the number 11, the number 9. What's your favourite number? Six. Mine's six. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Mine's six, and, and, if, and if somebody was to come up with, say, an odd number, I'd try and make it a multiple of six or something. I'd get back to six somehow. Okay. Oh, OK. Well, what about you? Um, well, you're 13, aren't you? 21. Oh, OK. My daughter likes 13. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she likes the number 13, and, and I think it's a... I, again, I think that's a Catholic thing, uh, that 13 is lucky for, if you're a Catholic. And if you're not a Catholic, it's not... It's not lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I, never, I never put it to my religion. No. I don't think there's anything apart no. from pos I tell you what I have from growing up Catholic is if a hearse passes I always bless myself. Oh, just, do you do, do, you okay. do that when you're you see lucky one, to be alive? Yeah. When I see one magpie, one magpie is bad luck. So, but if you say good afternoon, <coughs> Mr. Magpie, how's your family? That's fine. I do, but when you, I you whenever I see one magpie, that. I'm always looking for the next I one. My boyfriend who used to do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Because at first I look for the second magpie it's because there's got to be two. But then you're going to get one babies sorry, if you start going over. Yeah, three yeah. to girl, four to yeah. girl. You know, you're going yeah. to have a fleet of babies. <laughs> it would look crazy going around talking to random magpies. <laughs> oh, yeah, but you do it, don't you? We do, yeah. <laughs> I do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Any other superstitions? Oh, I've got loads. Yeah. <laughs> I won't get into a green car. What? I don't like the colour green. I think they're dangerous. Really? I love the colour green, but I won't get into a green car because my nan wouldn't get into a green car. Oh, really? No, when, when my mum was in labour with my sister, they sent a green taxi to pick my nan up. 
to take her to my mum at the hospital. Yeah. And she refused to get in. So okay. She... Sorry, ladies. So we're going to have to wind that up a little bit now. It was lovely speaking to you both. And, and you. Nice to talk and, to you. Uh, <laughs> thank you for joining us on another episode of Loud Ladies.